Now, at this point, you may be having a hard time believing that just about every movie ever made falls into this five-step structure. Well, we're about to go one step more extreme. A guy by the name of Blake Snyder developed what's called the Blake Snyder Beat Sheet, the BS2 for short, that actually expands this outline to 15 specific beats or story points that every good screenplay should have. He even numbers the pages in your script that each beat should land on. Let's run through them quickly. We start with one, the opening image, a visual that starts the movie, summarizing the tone of the film. If it's a peppy Christmas movie, it'll be bright with a tinkly soundtrack and lots of decorations. If it's a dark action film, it'll be full of shots of downtown Gotham at night with an eerie dissonant horn section. Two, the setup. This is where we learn what the hero's life is like before the inciting incident. We also find out what it is the hero needs to become whole. Three, the theme stated. Part of the setup, we discover what the moral to the tale is. Could be that crime doesn't pay, love triumphs in the end, or any number of truisms about life. Think of it as the filmmaker's hypothesis that the rest of the film is trying to prove right or wrong. Usually, the hero actually articulates this. If an honest man like me ran the country, everything would be better. If I could meet the right man, my life would be complete. If I became famous, I'd keep the same friends and never change who I am. 4. The Catalyst Another name for the inciting incident we mentioned in McKee's outline. This is the event that sets the hero on his journey. 5. The Debate here, the hero hesitates, arguing internally or externally about whether to make the journey. It's the chance to bail out before passing the point of no return. 6. Break into two. It's called break into two because this concludes the first act of a three-act structure. We'll look at the concept of acts in a later video. Here is where the hero makes the decision to head off on the journey. Blake Snyder believes this should happen on page 25 of the script. Seriously. Preferably not page 24, and certainly not page 26. Before you laugh, know that somewhere in a studio in Hollywood right now, there's a script reader turning to page 25, finding the heroine still on the couch at Aunt Mabel's drinking iced tea, and tossing the entire script into recycling. 7. The B Story also known as a subplot, this is a secondary story that holds the audience interest while the details of the main plot unfold. It's commonly a love story, whether that's between a man and a woman, a father and a son, or two kindred spirits destined to become best friends. 8. Fun and Games This is where a movie explores the realities of the story's main concepts. The Invisible Man gets to see what it's like to listen in on private conversations. The Kung Fu Kid gets to use his new mad skills to win some tournaments. The Corrupt Investment Broker gets to enjoy the fruit of his ill-gotten gains. This is the excitement that the audience was sold on and came to see. It's because of the tension of the hero's quest that they'll stay and later recommend it to their friends, but these are the moments that sold them the ticket in the first place. 9. The Midpoint this is where things are either at their greatest up point or their greatest down point. The corrupt investment broker is doing more business than ever and seems to be untouchable by the authorities, or the kung fu kid is incapable of learning the secret ninja move and has his worst beating to date by the high school star quarterback. This is where the fun and games end and we return to the high stakes of the main story. 10. The bad guys close in. This is where the evil forces, be they people, forces of nature, or creepy alien goop hiding in the city sewers, re-emerge after being frustrated or seemingly defeated during the fun and games section. 11. All is lost. This is where the bad guys deal such an utter defeat to the hero that it doesn't seem possible that a fairy tale ending can still come out of it. The broker is caught on tape making a major illegal trade. The prehistoric shark breaks through the impregnable electric barrier and is now free to pick off the remaining cast one by one. And the invisible man is sprayed with the ink from a thousand permanent markers. 12. Dark Night of the Soul This is the point at which the hero recognizes her defeat, discovers that she didn't have what it takes, that she's at the mercy of universal forces greater than herself. 
This is the moment that sets everything up for the greatness of sacrifice that will be required by the hero to right all the wrongs. 13. Break into 3 The end of Act 2 and the beginning of the climax mentioned in Robert McKee's five-point outline. This is the moment where the hero stumbles upon the elusive answer to the impossible situation he's in. An answer that wasn't there a moment ago, but through a sudden revelation, often thanks to the love interest of the B story, crystallizes in his mind. It may cost his life, it may be a long shot, but there's still a chance it could work. 14. Finale. This is where it all comes to a head. The bad guys get killed off, from least important to most important. Or, the smug district attorney is dealt a decisive blow by the corrupt investor's lawyer and our investment broker goes free on a technicality. Or, the invisible man has found the courage to defeat his enemies covered from head to toe with Sharpie. And in the best stories, the whole world of the hero has changed. Things will never go back to the way they were. It's a new day and a new dawn. 15. Final image. This is a closing image that reveals that the hero's world really has changed. Maybe it's a shot of the cubicle office worker finally living his dream of being a ski instructor. Or the superhero, having discovered her calling, now out saving children from poorly designed play equipment. This is also the resolution time in McKee's outline where all the loose ends are tied up.